Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Play. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, welcome. And make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so that you know when my shows are posted. Today I am using my crock pot to make a beef short rib bolognese that I will be putting over some pasta. So, as you can see, look at all the wonderful flavors that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be starting off with about three pounds of beef short ribs here that I'm going to sear off before I put them in my crock pot. And then I'm going to put in there all of these lovely flavors to make the bolognese. I've got some whole tomatoes here. I've got beef broth. I got some tomato paste. I've got an array of seasonings here. I've got oregano, basil, thyme, and parsley. I'm going to chop up some onion and carrots. We've got some salt, pepper, and garlic over here. And then we've got some Parmesan cheese that we're going to top it at the end with. And I've got some butter here to saute the short ribs with. And I'm using a pasta here. This is a Reginelli pasta. They're just lacy ribbon egg pasta nest that I'm going to be using to put my bolognese over. All right, y'all, let's get started with the first step. Now, the first step you can either skip or you can do. Now, I do it because it adds a lot of flavor to it, and that is searing my short ribs in a pan with some salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil to give it a nice color and also to get some more flavor out of it. All right, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and add about two tablespoons of olive oil to my pan here. We'll get it nice and hot. Now I've got my short ribs laid out right here. And I'm gonna salt and pepper both sides of these and then put them in my pan to sear. All right, we're gonna put these in the pan season side down so that we can season the other side when it goes into the pan. Oh, you hear that sizzle? That's what we want. All right, we're going to go ahead and season that side. Uh, look at that color, y'all. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now, I'm going to keep flipping these, and then when that side's done, I'm going to do the sides and then the, the front sides there. All right, I've turned my heat off. Look at how beautiful these look, y'all. Oh, flavor, flavor, flavor. All right, I'm going to go over to my crock pot now, and we're going to start building the sauce. Alright, so to build my bolognese sauce, now I've got three carrots that I have roughly chopped into big pieces here, and one onion roughly chopped that also. So I'm going to put that in the bottom down there. Alright, to that I am adding a 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes. Now what I did is I just put a knife in there and just kind of broke them up a little bit. That's going to go in here. I've got a six ounce can of tomato paste here. So I'm gonna use half of that. It's about that much right there. I'm using two cans of a beef broth. Alright, that's what it looks like. Put my other one in. About four tablespoons of some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to kind of rough estimate that. That looks good. About four tablespoons of melted butter. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. Two teaspoons of basil. Two tablespoons of some parsley. A 
one teaspoon and a half of oregano half of that. and then we're going to put half a teaspoon of some thyme in here We're going to mix that all up. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and just lay my beef short ribs here into the sauce and just kind of sink them into there. Oh, look at that, y'all. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all, I'm going to put a lid on it. Now, I'm going to take it over there and plug it in. You can cook this on low for seven to eight hours or on high for four to six hours. All right, I'm going to be back here within that time frame and show you what our next step is. All right, so it's been five hours, and what I'm going to do now, oh, look at all that stuff in there, mm, is I'm going to pull out the bones, which are kind of, no meat on them <laughs> and just put the bones in here the meat I'm gonna go ahead and pull out because we're gonna shred the meat and put it back in there alright so I'll be right back as soon as I do this alright so you can see the nice sauce right here oh yeah it looks really good it smells really good too these are all the bones that I pulled out of there and this is the meat right here, the short ribs that I pulled that, well, actually, they were already off the bones in there. So I'm going to go ahead and shred this up, and we'll be right back. All right, so now I'm just taking my meat, and I'm just kind of breaking it up. As you can see, look how easy that's just tearing apart right there. Wow, look at that. All right, y'all, look at this meat. Look at what it did. Oh, a carrot fell in there, too. All right, I shredded all of the beef short ribs. Now I'm going to add this back to my sauce in the crock pot there. All right, everybody, my beef short rib bolognese is all ready. I'm going to go ahead now. Now, I've made some pasta here. I just cooked it to the instructions on the back of the packaging. And I'm just going to go ahead now and add oh, right on top. All right, y'all. Look at that. All right, I'm going to add some shredded Parmesan to it. And I'm going to put some parsley on it. All right, y'all, there we go. All right, I'm going in. Mm. Seriously, y'all? Mm. All right, y'all, look at the big chunks of carrots. They're so tender, look at that. Oh, look at the meat, the ragu right there. Mm. That's the bolognese. We've got the onions in there. Oh, all the seasonings. Look at all the meat in there. Look at that. Oh. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. I've got family in there chomping on the bit to come in here and eat my beef short rib bolognese. All right, and I put it on a pasta. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below what you think. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so that you know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all. I will see you on my next episode.